hi guys welcome to today's tutorial welcome you all i welcome you all our creative minds i welcome you all right before we start let's do one thing that we used to do and uh, if you have done it before ignore it if you've not please do subscribe click on the bell right beside you to get notified every time we upload so we head to the tutorial full now basically we'll actually be working with two cinema strips we've actually taken a measurement they should be three inches wide and um, the length should be around one is 23 inches the other one is uh, 21 inches you can actually make them equal whichever one that suits you but all the same it will still give you the same result so basically this is what it entails now after showing you the measurement you can see that um, i'm saying the truth i be <laughs> after showing you guys the measurement we'll proceed to wetting the cinema strip to actually soften it for easy rolling so that is that for that and um of course we'll be proceeding to the next stage okay so you can see this is also 21 inches and both of them are three inches wide so we'll be using water to spray if you don't have a spray water you can actually use um ordinary just get water and um, you know soak it and bring it out please but please do not allow the cinema to stay in the water for long just one second you bring it out then dry the excess of course it's that's giving you the right texture for easy rolling so that is just it and if you can as you can see i'm spraying now and i'll also be drying with my hand to well and also please consider drying your hands too that also is important and after drying your hands you can also dry your thumbs so for you can for you to be for you to easily roll the edge without stress but if it's your first time please do not say first it sent you message you you understand it switched to roll the edges it's very interesting it's very nice it doesn't have anything to i'm not lying but it's sweet but that's just it so if you're a fast learner you can pick it up from here if you are still confused about how to roll the edges please do reach out to us we have videos that can actually help you but it's a personal training program so thank you so much and uh, you can see where i'm rolling and um, i'm actually going to be fast forwarding this part because of our fast forwarders in the house mm. we know you already know it thank you for coming thank you for viewing what's all the same we are doing this because of you eh? and um, no problem we are not angry but we just appreciate you your presence but please do not fast forward again we are already fast forwarding for you aha uh -huh. please don't feel offended we are only saying our mind so don't mind me i'm not actually using this time to <laughs> pour out all the things in my mind but all the same you can see how the rolly edge is looking so this is something you should also rep re uh, replicate on the other strip and when you're done of course we'll be moving to the next stage so and you will notice something i didn't want to say it here but after doing this i kept it to one side and i focused on other things but i on the day two i still came back to it so it's not don't have the fear that uh, what if i roll and it unfolds no if you do it well it will stay like that forever it will go back mm, it will stay like that till thy kingdom come but so you can see i'm actually going to be showing you now you can see the two road edge strips and um all we need now to do is to move to the next stage which is forming of our bow now oftentimes i've taught how to bake a um, bow here on this channel if you are yet to know that please do click on our all our channel videos and watch we have over 50 videos on this channel as at the time i'm making this video because i know more are still coming mm? so basically that is what it entails uh -huh. so we go and get yourself um abreast with all our videos we we'll really appreciate that all right so i'll be using the the artificial flower and also some other embellishing um items here right on the table so when you are done with that all we need to do is um from our cinema our bowls i keep saying it okay from the picture that was sent to me to make the style these are the beads that was used that were used in the on the fascinator but um i didn't really use it all i just did was to just show you guys so you can know the type of beads to get if you really want to do exactly like what she did or what the picture shows but this particular one 
is also beautiful so it depends you can actually go wild with your creation so now you can see i'm actually forming this um, cinem um this bow and also if you notice i l allowed some part of the strip to stay separate because that would be more like um um a leaf that is coming out from the bow you understand so that is as a result of the excess part of it but it's serving as a leaf if your own didn't get to this point you can actually make some leaves roll some edge leaves and then add to it if you don't know how to do this particular one i just did so i'm actually using these two strips to form two bows and when we finish we'll tie them up with some thread and afterwards we'll actually glue them together and then we'll proceed to embellishment so I'll keep you guys informed when we get there. Alright, thank you for watching and keep watching. Do not fast forward. Thank you so much. Okay, so as you can see, we have formed our bow and now it's time for us to embellish. And that's just it. And I keep saying embellishment is a thing of the mind, right? <laughs> so basically, what you have at your disposal is all you use or you can actually go and shop for what you are going to use to embellish your fascinator. I know the, hey mama, usha, proper mamas are there, the slaying queens are here and they are already preparing how to slay their fascinator. I'm feeling you guys. All the same, I'm actually going going to be using the little one i have here and um you know it still came out very beautiful so basically that is what it entails yeah i know someone is already repeating what i'm saying now <laughs> but all the same we are just going to be doing just what we are seeing now on the video and that is it so and um before we move to the picture proper you know what we are still working on is on the fascinator so, so before we now move to the picture proper. Let's finish one first. You get it? If you fast forward now, hmm, let me save my comments. Let me just reserve my comments because I don't want to offend anybody. But all the same, don't mind me. Uh -huh. So when you are done with all this wahala thing, and of course, I'm also going to be teaching you guys how to actually place your fascinate, your feather. I mean, yes, your feather, your your um your quill so it can actually suit the look you are actually looking out for so now we have this quill it's already carved we have our feathers already trimmed we have our flower we have um what else is here that's just it so now you can see how i place the quill and um of course the coily nature is still popping out and looking at us straight in the eyes you know it says i'm here oh, look at how beautiful i'm looking but all the same glue it down then you take the feathers twist them in the way that actually arrange them in a way that each each um stamp stands on its own and gives them um, a curve at a different direction that is also another way to keep your feathers a little bit attractive so now when you're done with that glue also to the back of the fascinator or the cinema strip or the bow already because it's no more cinema strip now it's already a cinema bow or a bow made of cinema so now when you're done with that you can see how i placed my feathers and after that you also take other embellishing things and place rightly so that is just the secret of how you place of your fascinator to make them look beautiful all right so keep watching as we'll be giving you much more information to come
okay guys so you can see how we place the feathers yeah so also note that <laughs> you have to stitch you mm, it's very necessary whatever you glue and make sure you are gluing you are stitching when the glues are still hot the, i mean the glue is still hot so that um the net needle can actually penetrate you have to stitch so that you can hold your things in place and actually make your fascinator stand stand the test of time so because if you don't the glues when they expire they will start falling apart things will start falling apart not things things fall apart but all the same after that you can see how we are going to place our flower but not before not so fast we still have a lot to do before getting to that stage now it is picture making time <laughs> so now what we need here is a headband um and also a millinery, well, this should be size 21 or a bit higher than size 21. I mean, sorry, this should be size 16 as for the millinery. But you can actually get um, something of this nature in your location, you understand. So what you need to do is actually, it's um, the total measurement should be around 17 inches. But when you fold in total, it gives us um, 18 inches, 0.5 that's 18.5 inches so now I'm actually trying to trim it so I am um, the two sides will look equal now at some point I was carried away but don't not to worry I'm actually going to be coming back to show you what I actually did here so now you can see I'll take the measurements now so you can see for yourself because we have some doubting Thomas in the house so I'll be showing you the measurement. Now you can see it's seven point eight point five, which means it has been folded in total, which means the total measurement uh, was 17 inches. Now I'll be taking four inches out to to be the pecha, and the other one that will actually be um, be attached on the Alice band will be will be left with four point um, five to be attached that will be used to be attached or oh, english please leave me that they, they, will, they will be used to, that will actually going to be attaching the alice band on or will be fixing it with the alice band so basically what you do is the rest part of the picture you actually form it in a car in, a, in an arc way that's the way the headband the alice band is so that it can properly sit well on the alice band so when you're done with that of course i didn't tell you we are also going to be using a jewelry wire size um, 0.30 mm i think so yeah i actually showed you guys early but i was not um I, I didn't pick that up so now you can see what i'm actually doing i'm also fast forwarding we can actually do this on our own without seeing this so you can see the finished work i finished um tying it up with the uh, with a jewelry wire and also I've wrapped it up with a green tape which um, we use to cover stem when we are making stem feathers and all that or flowers and whichever one so also I'll be taking this bit of shem also to or you take bias strips to also cover up I'll be showing you guys the finished work you can see the finished work already so now we are ready to fix our picture so now you can see I'm folding you can see what I did now so it will more like serve like uh, serve as a hook to the fascinator so that the fascinator can actually be well seated on the picture now this is just how you apply or fix the picture that is why I said we have different styles of picture this is another style aha so now you can see what I did here I'll be showing you again but before then I'll have to apply gum now or a hot glue gun gum to make sure it sits properly now when you do that all you need to do now is to just cover up with your beautiful artificial flower and we are ready to rock our fascinator oh oh <laughs> when did I start singing all right that is just a simple thing here look at my face you will know that I've really undergone stress but God there is God mm. okay now so you can actually see the the look and um, you see how it's sitting on the head you can actually make yours one side and maybe go a little bit sideways but this is actually sitting on the center 
Uh -huh. And another, another thing is you can actually cover the picture to give you that look, you know. That's just a tip. Now, so afterwards, we are fixing our flower and the picture is ready. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for viewing us. And please do not forget to like this video. And also do not forget to share share empower your fellow women and men out there that don't have anything to do let them learn something and also create something and even make a living out of it so you can actually see our finished work thank you guys for clicking thank you for watching i will be seeing in our next video i envy the lucky winner for this fascinator mm -hmm. see you guys bye